On this week's episode of Waypoint, Garrosh goes down, Noru Shen gets some changes, the Conquest Cap gets some fixes, and we finally get a set of connected realms. What's up guys and welcome to Waypoint, your weekly World of Warcraft recap for October 1st, 2013. I'm your host, Mike Schaffner. Now first up this week, Heroic Garrosh has been taken down on the Chinese servers by the guild. Really? You know I have problems pronouncing things. The group had an eye level of over 573 and as you can see from this screenshot, it confirms the existence of the heroic only Stormwind Harbor version of the encounter. No abilities or other details were published of this new phase, so other guilds will still have to fight their way to get there to find out what's new. Now, remember that Chinese servers do have different lockouts, gear levels, and boss difficulties from the North American and European servers. Taking advantage of this, they were able to farm the first half of Heroic 25 Man Siege of Orgrimmar, and then funnel all of the overpowered gear into 10 players. Those 10 players then went on to run 10 Man Heroic Siege, and were able to take down Garrosh. Nonetheless, it's still the first guild in the world to take down the mighty new Warchief on Heroic Mode, so a big congratulations to... Which concludes the Chinese race the world first. Speaking of race the world first, let's talk about the North American and European servers. As of the recording of this episode, the top guilds in the 25-man race are Method, Blood Legion, Exorcist, and Envy, who are all tied at 13-14. Taking a look at the 10-man difficulty, it's not much different. Paragon, Depraved, and Sanitas are also tied at 13 of 14 as well. Now, like I said, as of the recording of this episode, these guilds are most likely hard at work trying to take down Garrosh before tomorrow's reset. However, since this video isn't posted until Tuesdays, I guess we'll have to wait and see if anyone manages to clear him before having to start all over. Next up, Heroic Nourishen got a significant amount of changes to his fight this past week. Previously, most guilds on 25 Man were completely ignoring all of the mechanics behind the fight and simply zerged the boss down. This was unintentional and Watcher took to the forums to give a little bit of insight into the change. He describes that a really tight patchwork style DPS check can be fun, but with some gear in a couple of weeks, the fun will eventually be gone. The changes to the fight make the heroic Norushen encounter exactly the same as he was on normal mode, with more health and damage going out. Watcher also describes their logic for fixing and changing encounters in the middle of the week, and he goes on to say that they will always fix bugs that trivialize the encounter as soon as possible. For example, Thok in the first 20 hours did not actually have his increasing energy regen mechanic. Thus, they went in and fixed it after many guilds had already cleared past the normal version of the encounter. Watcher went on to personally apologize for raid groups that have to change their raid strategy after the change has been implemented. The Conquest cap bug was finally fixed this week and the Conquest vendors were put back into the game. Our good friend Lore posted on the forums about what exactly is going to happen now regarding the bug and mistakes. All inflated Conquest caps have been corrected and all player's Grievous Conquest achievement has been fixed. Extra pieces of gear from the bug will be removed and changed into the tyrannical equivalent. Now, with the arena season having already started last week, would this have a great effect on rated battlegrounds and arena rankings? Do you guys think that Blizzard should have done a ladder reset or maybe changed the rating of those who got the extra gear? We talked a little bit about this on last week's Legendary, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Last week in New Zealand, and this week in the US, it seems that Blizzard Entertainment has applied for the trademark, Heroes of the Storm. Now, the validity of these have not been 100% confirmed, and I question how much I should or shouldn't believe this after the previous trademarks, the Dark Below and Corgi's Unleashed, were discovered. But the interesting thing here is that Heroes of the Storm supposedly contains computer game discs which would eliminate a Hearthstone or Blizzard All-Star related item. With BlizzCon right around the corner, we should hear about the new World of Warcraft expansion soon. Could Heroes of the Storm be it, or could this be something else? Maybe like Titan? After all, Titan is just a codename. Lastly this week, the first Connected Realms were implemented after a fairly lengthy maintenance period. Boulderfist and Bloodscalp were at last connected on Wednesday, and so far, other than a few bugs, things are working out great. Remember, with Connected Realms, players from both realms share an auction house. 
can mail to each other and join guilds from another realm, but more importantly is that players with the same name will not have to change their name and neither will guilds. But since these are the first connected realms, I think it's safe to say that it's going to be Blizzard's testing grounds for a while, and it'll probably be a few weeks or even months before we see more start to happen. Let's move on, but before I do, I want to tell you guys about a sponsor that helps make this show possible. Shutterstock is a must-have tool for anyone in the creative industry. With over 20 million high-quality stock photos, illustrations, vectors, and video clips, Shutterstock helps you take your creative projects to the next level. Injecting your website with some instant credibility is easy to do when using Shutterstock. Whether you need still photography, stock footage, or even art assets for your website or YouTube channel, Shutterstock.com has you covered. If you're looking for a certain color palette to fit your needs, their tool called Spectrum can handle that. Define the color and keywords for images that you're looking for and get a massive selection of imagery to choose from. You can try Shutterstock today without using a credit card by signing up for a free account and save all of your favorite images to a light box to review them later. Once you're ready to purchase, use the offer code GAMEBREAKER10 and you'll receive 25% off your new account. That does it for this week's episode of Waypoint. Be sure to check back every week on Tuesday for updated World of Warcraft news. If you guys like this video, be sure to like and comment below as it helps spread our audience. And if you want to see more World of Warcraft content, check out our YouTube channel, WoW Nation TV. While you're there, be sure to check out Legendary for more thoughts and opinion on World of Warcraft. That show goes live every Thursday at 8 p.m. at GameBreaker.tv slash live. I'm Mike Schaffnit. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Mike Schaffnit. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys at the next waypoint. Game Breaker TV.